Hello everyone, I'm Great Look, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 137 of Factorio with the Space Exploration Mod, where we are just working on refining of Vita Melange spice and extract from just the Vita Melange ore, and we're just working on a design for it, and we are about halfway there I guess, but we are having a little bit of troubles with the actual uh, extract production where we turn some of the spice into extra extract and partly because we want to stay within these bounds really also I think life would be easier if we just turned all of these around so we have our potential output coming from these chests I need to see this run at some point because I don't actually know how much is coming out of this. And for that we need to handle our gases, which I apparently forgot all about. Part way through this. How much throughput are we having here? 100 second crafting time, okay. That takes a while. And we only output 40.1 items, okay. So of course, this is just our influx of spice that we need to input here. Two thirds of this is output again. And we actually want to output some of that to, well, just as our output for this build, along with the extract. But I'm sure we can make that work. Confident on, confident until I am. Not anymore. This can't work because we're too close to each other actually. Hmm. Really? Would it change anything if we had the output like this instead? Not really, we just move where we have our two spaces available. Again, it would really help if we had this on the other side somehow. But with this setup that I really wanted for some reason, that is difficult. Are we just going to ignore what I want and do what is sensible instead? I think we are. I'm a little bit tired of just trying to get everything perfect as I want it to be. So this is our output here. And we'll just bring it back down around, except that we actually need it available in some locations here. So maybe we do that, at least to start with. And then we move this stuff over here. And then we move it in a little bit closer. But then we have trouble getting things into this. Up here it is fine, down here it is not. 
actually to both of these. So I think if we just move this down here instead. We have input there, we have input for those two. We have everything powered. We are using less space than before. I think I can live with that. Okay, so. We still need a setup sort of like this. Output, transfer, input. Potentially output more. But with a limit. And it should be filtered, I guess. And uh, reserve spots in these, right? No. The thing is, we need both of these items as outputs here. And that makes it a little bit more difficult unless I'm just overcomplicating it. Oh, also, did I forget about this gas again that I didn't handle? After I moved all of this, now I have to rethink that and maybe the answer is just to move all of this out a bit. Then we're taking up more space again, but at least we will be working like this. And then these need to move in here. This needs its own power soon. Speed modules for that beacon. Okay. So, so far we have everything. Do these need more than half a belt to work, by the way? No. We output less than 45 per second. And since we will have a mirror set up, we only need half of this here. Okay. Now we will have to wait a while before we get the extract that we need to start this whole thing. But since we're here, we can just cheat a little bit. Put that in there. Oh, it already had gotten one, I guess, somehow. Isn't it supposed to only be 10%, so one out of 10 crafts we get one. So I guess I was just lucky. Okay, I can live with the lucky. I just wish it was out in the real uh, part of the game rather than in the editor. Okay, can we figure this out? Again, this needs to be somehow filtered. This needs to somehow get past us, but I'm sure we can manage. Though I sort of wanted to mirror this here. And then have it again here. And then we don't really have space anywhere for a belt to go under. Unless we move it in here, I guess. It's just wood. So it's nothing important or anything. Okay, we can figure out many places to get that. We can also run it in here if we want to. So let's not worry about that. We just have to stay within these bounds, really. Let's get some power so I don't have to look at those. 
warnings. Okay, they have all gotten at least one now. And now it's just living and taking this stuff. At some point, we are allowed to output the, some of this, but when is that? This is allowed to output as soon as we have just more than a couple of these. As long as it doesn't override its deck size, I guess. But we have to somehow limit this stuff. If we just start here, put a wire on it, please. If extract greater than five. Oh, we could just say that this can max get to three. So if it's more than three, we can output because then we still have one available. Good. So now that is being output when we have enough of it. I want to output the spice from down here. And have a wire on that. If spice greater than 10 this isn't a big problem to have a bunch of now the problem becomes no wait that isn't a problem if this fills up this will start to back up then it'll just be output how much are we getting out of everything 10 of each i think was the plan yeah These outputting 12 would mean that this could get into trouble, so let's just say 50 here. So we just get up to one stack. Can we end up in a situation where both of these spaces are taken up by spice? I'm afraid so, so we will have to also... do some limits for outputting but then we're not transferring the extract either is that a problem though i don't think so i think it'll turn out to be good by itself if this is less than how much does this stack? Let's just say 100 to start with. I think it stacks to 200 though. No, 50, okay. So you're not allowed to get above 50. So 25, I guess. As soon as we get one in here, or more than one, I guess then we shouldn't ever have a problem except if this outputs the last one then we're not allowed to transfer one more so maybe we just need to up this limit a bit if we have two left in here if this takes one we should output five or six on average i guess And that should be fine. I think it's fine. As long as we get it seeded properly. I don't think that will be a problem. We're not allowed to fill this just now. That's good. If we end up in a situation where we have both filled with extract, we just have extra spice from here. So that shouldn't be a problem. 
Unless, of course, this belt fills up with extract somehow. But let's not expect the almost impossible to happen. If Is this good enough, though? Are we ever getting to the point where this outputs? I don't think that's possible, other than if this is faster. Add inserting. I mean, we are filling this up pretty well. I am very confused about how I want to balance this. I need 46 in here. We only get 25 from this. Then we need another 20 from here. That is this stuff. But it should start to take less from this. Shouldn't it? No, it shouldn't. Wait, what? Because mm. these just input equal amounts. We need this to input more than it is. It needs priority over this. Is that possible? I could also just take this belt much with this. Potentially up here. Output priority left. Is that bad in any way? It'll only output when this belt is full. Then we don't have to output from here. This still works. This should maybe be limited by this now. I feel like I'm doing something wrong still, but I'm just going to roll with it for now. If this is less than a stack, then we're allowed to input new stuff. So whenever we get to a stack here, we should prioritize using that. Still worried about this not or basically deadlogging itself, but we shall see. Good. If we do this for every one of these. Are we okay with potentially outputting some of the extract from in here? I think so, apart from the beginning where we have to grab the first one to get the full process started. Good. I think this is working as it should. Which would be the last part of this. And the ratio of buildings should just mean that we get about 10 of each out. They will be a little bit different, but it's fine. Good. We have this as well we need to take care of at some point. And we can really just put this all the way down if we want to. I 
And can we this be mirrored? No. Wait, this is bad, of course. We need to move at least two tiles higher. Because this can't move down. That also means we have better space for our wood belt, but this could go under right here anyway. Mm, let's just finish first here. Did I accidentally remove that at some point? Or maybe I never put it down? Also that... I guess I'd never finished the top part, actually. Okay. Clean out junk. Good. I think this is it then. We're just getting base resources in. Water. Do we want water to maybe come from the top though? I don't know. We want this to move in here. We want this full setup to move up two tiles or more. That should be good. Don't need those. And then these can somehow go under here. Something like that. Should be good. Awesome. I think that's our build. If we can make it work. Backed up there, but we should eventually start using that, right? Apparently these can't keep up. It's 200 every 100 seconds. With a crafting speed of 7. Holy Christ, what? This normally has a crafting speed of 4? Really? Okay. So we need 1400 every 100 seconds, or 14 per second. We add more inserters then. Maybe loaders would have been better, but whatever. We have our two belts, that's fine. Good. Why are you full? We 
shouldn't be able to output more than a half a belt on each side. It's okay that the top ones are staffed a little bit, since we have more machines than we need. Okay. I still think this is good. So are we just going to put this here, like so? Getting Vitamelange, Stone and Water from the top. Water and Vita Melange is at least easy. Stone we can get from over here for now. And we have plenty of stone in general. Good. So yes, that sounds like a plan. Let's clean up a bit here first though. And maybe move these warehouses out of the way. Of course, we have too much junk. Whoops. Yeah, we need a good amount of space here. But out here is fine as well, so we don't have to move our warehouses necessarily. But we do need this water out of the way. Did I not have... A bunch of stone. Yes, we can make that into landfill, I guess. To just fill that hole in the ground. Come on. We basically just need one piece, actually. I think. Unless it's four tiles. It's four, okay. Is this also water? Maybe. Yep, okay. Hopefully that's everything we need, because I don't... Well, we could just spend the rest of the stone, of course. It's not really a problem. Is this water? Is that just a puddle? You can build over it, so never mind. Okay. Let's not build this yet. Let's just see... How everything lines up. So we need to merge all of these belts down to two. Okay. Well, we only need one belt of input, but we're still just outputting two full belts from here, I think, and then not utilizing them. Maybe we should get working on this though. The robots are going to need some time. I just want the easy parts here out of the way. Oops, let's go in the other way. And yes, I did accidentally remove a inserter here. Can we copy from a ghost? Nope. Output stone to the right. Input priority from the right. Inner belt. Yes. Good. Okay, robots will have to do the rest.
Okay. I am not sure we brought enough long-handed inserters. We did not, it seems. Did we set up a landing pad? I think I went back for that. We have one here. Okay. We could just send a rocket here with whatever stuff we're going to need. I just want to get a little bit further before we request a rocket that's almost empty. Don't really need to be f totally efficient with this balancing. Right. As long as it works. So input to this. And this. Good. Then stone. Am I making mistakes? What stone? What is supposed to be in this belt? More stone? Yes, more stone. Yes, that's how we did things. That's how we prioritize. Okay. So that'll be stone at some point, though it can only be on one side of the belt. It needs to be on the inside, so we have it from the same side of the belt, like that, and like that. Stone right over there. Why don't we just go and grab that right away? I really need a smaller version of this. Is that always the case that I want it to be smaller? Because then we should just blueprint this instead. Hmm. Maybe. Eight wide. Relative. Has this core frag or seam core seam been sealed? Did we do that? Maybe we did. Maybe I just did it with a force build, no? Maybe, yes. I think so. The robots just use cliff explosives for that, so never mind. Good, we have stone. Good. Then we need water. And it's not big amounts of water, right? It is actually pretty, quite a lot. 
It is still less than a pipe though, I believe. As long as the pipe isn't long. I think this is okay. Well, we need a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we can grab. Not down here, though. We were right beside it. Pulverizers. Furnace. Chemical plant. Long-handed inserter and filter inserter is not something we can really do right now. Unless we start mining iron and copper and oil and everything. Modules we have to downgrade. Can we just do that in a upgrade planner, please? Four, two, three. Four, two, three. Thank you. Apparently we lack some productivity modules. Really? I thought I had plenty of those, but apparently not. So maybe we should start requesting stuff to a rocket that we already know we need. This is Moss Garden. Yes. Let's just make a signal for Moss Garden, because I will keep clicking that radar thingy. And seeing Tintavis. New channel. Mars Garden. Is that the name? It is right here. Yes, it is. Okay. Mars Garden. Mars Garden. Quest. Long-handed. We are going to limit those to 200, I think. Filters. And I'm just requesting more than we need currently, just in case we need more later. Let's just do 200 of those as well. And modules. We don't have tier 3 up here. Do we? I don't think so. And we don't really have a way to get anything from down here yet. Maybe we should just move our rockets right away, but no. Too much work. Out come. Oh. Because I'm not close. Okay. I think if those items are ready, we should just send the rocket right away. So we can see this work, hopefully. Wait, what? No signal at all. This gets green. Green one. As input. We are less than 200. This gets green one. And P. P is power, is that correct? Yes. 
Yeah, so this only works if we actually put something into this network. Okay. Uh, just a second. That was my own way to try and fix power problems, I think. I need a wire from that to that. And of course, there's probably still nothing in that signal. Is that correct? I don't get P in. But if we do this, I think it should work. Yes, awesome. Just trying to remember how I built this stuff and what my thoughts were behind it. We can do cannons at some point as well. Are we not making filter inserters here? I guess not, so the 44 we got must be enough, I guess. Launch to landing pad. Yes, please, just go. This is done, so let's get rid of that. We can only output these if we get the filter inserter, so that's what we're waiting for. Come on, rocket. Now there's at least still something in the system, so we can remove this. Well, we need basically all of this. Put that back in. So now we should be a lot closer to working. Output should be clearing up, right? As we start to use this. Yes, we're working. Good. Next step. Oh, Vulcanite. I think we are just going to place a... Robot. No, not robot. A cannon chest. Right here. And wouldn't it be okay to just unload that and then just measure this belt? If we have any vulcanite here, or if vulcanite here is zero. Honestly, is everything here is less than one. Then we can send something. But then how are we going to get that signal to Norvis? I think we should put it into a logistic network instead. As that is a lot easier to measure and have a signal come across the distance. This is our output along with this and these. Okay. For now, I'm just going to mark these like that. Actually, just warehouse here. Power. But now, how come we are still not working? Because we still don't have Vulcanite, of course. Okay. So, Vulcanite. From Tintavis. 
now we need one more of these that needs to take from basically the same thing. And apparently we're not producing vulcanite anymore. How come? Have we just starved ourselves here? No, we have filled a full chest of stuff. Iron ore is made into iron and steel, but we're not using that anymore. Okay. Dang it. How are we supposed to get rid of all of this? But now let's just get it to work. But we still have a problem with this all being in there. Can we... Just upgrade our warehouse to a provider warehouse, please. Because then we can just request it to anywhere if we have another provider warehouse. If not, we need the opposite of this. Can we? Well, we can just do that ourselves, I guess. Turn this back, please, to a normal warehouse. Use that provider warehouse up here. Thank you. And then we can bring it anywhere, really. I think I planned for stuff to be up here. Maybe we just want enough space between these for a RoboPort. I think I was considering that earlier. Good, you will listen to Moss Garden. You will make Vulcanite. You will only work if Vulcanite less than a hundred. You will target Muscan right here. And then we're waiting for production to kick back in. Also have too much pyroflux, what? What is this used for out here? This is our production of it. This was just as a byproduct, but it's needed for iron ingots. And those have backed up as well, so we can't use anything down there. Okay, we just clear one of these. Also add another one if we have one. We do. Good. Production is going again then. And here it comes. Good. Now we are probably not going to get anything for our new thing up here as long as these are allowed to take it all. Why do we have three inserters for this? I guess we wanted more Vulcanite for modules. We're getting a little tiny bit every once in a while when it lines up. But we only really need one every 100 second, but then multiplied by 8 and the 7 crafting speed. 
six with our modules, I guess. So we need a couple of sentiments. A couple of what is it called? Just some deliveries. But yeah, we did talk about going to another actual vulcanite planet and just making a lot more in an, a lot easier way, I think. I just hadn't considered that we would be backing up on the raw resources we get from this stuff. Can we get this prioritized somehow? Also have, can we get another one of those? Because we have a lot of coal here we don't use. Aren't we making plastic here somewhere and struggling with coal for that? No, we never did, okay. Never mind then. Okay, have you finished a product yet? No. Do these stack to 50 or 200? 200, okay. I want to see this work, so... That wasn't even hooked up to a limit anyway. So that's a bad thing to have. This is turned off for GNEO. Is that intended? Don't we need that for Pyroflux production? Maybe it doesn't matter too much since we have a lot of Halmanite now. Pyroflux here. Oh, we were just sending Pyroflux. Then we didn't need Vulcanite for anything, is that correct? So we don't really need this, I think. Could have just sent that to Moscow and then, but let's continue with this idea first. Turn this on. And apparently we have plenty at Novice Orbit. And... Oh, that's different. Never mind. We just need more for modules, basically. Seems to be the case. But when we have just sent a few shipments of this... Now it is starting to back up there, that's good. We just want one more shipment for it to last a little bit longer. And then we are putting some back to Norvis again. I think that'll get here soon, and it's fine. Good. And now we are actually outputting some stuff. Do we need these? Seems like we do. Let's get it seeded on this side as well. We actually absolutely need to seed them all, at least when we start from this end, because 
well, from any end, really. Well, if we had gotten lucky and we had some of it coming in here, it wouldn't be a problem, but it is a problem now, so never mind me. Can we get rid of this? Yep. Good. Put that in there. Why is this side not running? Wooden stone, I guess it just got backed up before we could get the filter inserters. Now it should start up, right? Yep, good. These should go to our defenses. Wait, what? How did we... I guess there's just a lot in the belt and that's why we didn't use a lot, I don't think. Also, there can be a good amount in these. Are we just going to connect these with our robot network and then getting a cannon chest down right away? Before it becomes a problem? I think that sounds like a good idea. We could also just broadcast what is in this chest on the same channel. I think. Let's just make sure that's the case because I might as well learn something every now and then if we take one more of these and we just put wherever put a wire down to this and then output directly from that this, send on the musk garden, brought or bent, whatever it's called. Then, in here for example, this one listening to musk garden, which we didn't actually hook up to musk garden yet. Now it tells us there's 65 shells as well. Okay, good. So we actually sent too much of this already, but 200 is fine. 400 is probably also fine. But for now, let's limit ourselves a little bit. Because then we can send more for modules. Good. We didn't actually set anything up to send here yet. We're sending that from Norvis. Are we making shells here? I think so. Oh, we had this set up over here somewhere. Making them, I thought. Yeah. And we have that here, yes. Okay. So, must garden. Cannon. No, we can't put those on the cannon. Dang it, we need to put them in the rocket instead. No. These things. If there's less than a hundred up there. We are allowed to input. Good. But there's already 65 plus these 36. Okay. 
and then we have to bring those shells over from the our landing pad, which is a little annoying. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.